In this video, we talk about BIC-like model selection criteria. By Laplace expansion, the log marginal likelihood can be decomposed as a sum of log of maximum likelihood, a term depend on number of parameters and the sample size. And the third term depend on the prior. The fourth term depend on the feature information matrix and a small O one term that will grow to zero as the sample size increase. When we use Jeffrey's prior, the last three terms become log FII plus small O one. The log FII is the integral of square root of determinate of feature information matrix, which does not depend on theta. We call this feature information approximation. It has the same asymptotic form as normalized maximum likelihood, which normalizes maximum likelihood over the sum of maximum likelihood of all possible sequences. Usually, we don't have closed form solution for MML, but we can calculate the denominator by important sampling. Now we can infer log FII and let's see how visual information approximation behaves. BIC model selection criteria only includes the first term. We can estimate log FII by calculate normalized maximum likelihood at large sample size. Let's plot log CN against sample size in log scale. There is an upper bound that squeezes log CN curve to zero in the beginning. Slope of log CN curve grows until it is parallel to BIC curve. We can draw FIA curve in blue line, and we can see FIA penalty is a very small negative value if sample size is small. For a simpler model, the absolute value of FIA penalty is much smaller. Thus, FIA criteria favors complex model. On the other hand, BIC put too much penalty for complex model, it favors simpler model. Let's take a look of model selection for Markov chain case. We select between order 1 and order 10 Markov chain model. For small sample size with 1000 samples, if true model is complex, BIC did very bad, but if true model is simple, FIA did bad. But for large sample size, both methods did very good. To solve the problem of small sample size, let's go back to the official information approximation formula, and we can see that the small O1 term depends on sample size and model complexity in the beginning. A further study of small O1 term for small sample size is needed. For more information, please refer to our paper, Keep It Simple Stupid, on the effect of no order terms in BIC-like criteria.